Hello and welcome back to the channel. So last week we did the Jaguar XJ220 that was added in Gran Turismo 7 and I have to say thoroughly impressed. Uh, it went a lot faster than I thought it ever would do uh, sitting behind the wheel. So we're going to do another car from the same pack and this time we're going to do the 2023 Super Formula car. So let's see what we've got. So in the 2023 uh, Super Formula car, we've got some changes. So we've got 625 horsepower and only 670 kilos. So this is definitely a downforce car and should go pretty well. Now we have done the 2019 Super Formula car uh, in Gran Turismo Sport when that came out and that managed the time on the same setup of a 551 and a 552. So there are two versions, a Honda and Toyota. We're only gonna try the Toyota today because uh, they are pretty much identical in performance. But be interesting to see, is this one gonna go faster? Um, me personally, I'm a bit on the fence. As the new car has uh, probably less downforce and a bit more of an environmental friendly point of view. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that does. Downforce cars are always good fun around the Nürburgring. So let's go and find out what kind of time this car will do. Right, 2023 Super Formula car, taking on the Nürburgring. I absolutely love these cars. Remind you, remind me of early 2000s F1 cars, a lot simpler. No gizmos and gadgets on it, just a car and yourself. But flat out, easy flat through there. There are going to be a lot of corners that are flat in this car. Just using the gears there to try and help rotation a little bit. Oh yes, absolutely throwing, flying through here. Oh, a little bit of wheel spin from the rear there. Right, we are in time trial mode, so we don't have the uh, use of the boost button, which is going to hold us back here, because we're going to be kind of aero limited through here. If we had a little bit more power, we could go a little bit faster, but remember, never bring blast rules. Can't make any changes to the car, default setups. What kind of speed? That's 297. I think that's pretty much the max stream core it should be easy flat yes and then late on the brakes can really attack these apexes on the brakes oh god that's just good really enjoy these guys right flat out through the foxholes again up to sixth gear be flat through the compression and flat up over the top i believe yes we are bring the car down second gear get it into the eight apex of the ch chicane, avoid the curves and then back on the power. Yes, really enjoy these type of cars. 675 horsepower, lightweight and all the downforces. Avoid the curb on the right there otherwise we will end up in the barrier. Right down we come, keep it nice and close there. Oh we got up on the curb there, a little bit of time lost. Right, flat out for the chicane we go and then Flat through, miss it, miss. Oh, a little bit of a correction mid corner. All the way down to second, get that nose in. And then we can really get on to the power quite aggressively. A little bit of a sneer there, but we call it. Get the nose in. Oh, again there, just a little bit of a sneer on the throttle application. Oh, right. Louder kick now, that should be easy, easy flat. Right, and then let's set up for the run up the hill again. This is where we could have done with a bit of boost. So much grip in this car. It's going to be interesting to see how it does against that 551 of the SF19. Flat out, up the hill. Pace is slowly rising, but this is where, yeah, 285 is going to be about it. No, we're not even going to get there. Right, bravery corner should be flat. Should timber in, yeah. These kind of speeds, you want to keep the steering wheel inputs quite small. You don't want to overdo it. And then hard on the brakes. Yes, that's nice. We can keep it nice and close to that curve there. And then on the power right. Carousel, we're going to struggle here. We are very low. Oh yeah, the car's bobbling around. Really doesn't like that. But we're out of it. Right. This should be a roller coaster and a half now, so let's go get it. Flat out, we're already set up to six. Take one gear down. Another one. Actually, another two. Oh, a little bit of understeer there. Probably just push it a bit too hard. 
flat out through the entry and whip them on, or holding it on the curb. Oh yes, plenty of grip. Revving the nuts off that little engine sit behind us. There we go, right, brunching. Dab a brake, get the nose in. Oh, just need to have a confidence in the rear end there for a moment. Oh, that probably go. Wow, sorry about the noises. Right, flat out we go. Oh, over, that's flat. Hold it flat. Yes, we hold it flat for the whole of that. And over here, I was flying sixth through that whole section there. It's there from Belafest, it's easy flat. Wow. Worst car corner on the track is also flat. Turn two gears, get the nose in. Ah, there we go. Right towards the baby carousel. That was a roller cushion half. That was absolutely fantastic. Definitely suggest if you've got this car, got Grand Turismo 7, go and try this combination because that was absolutely epic. Oh, right, we can relax a little bit now. We're on to Dottinger Hill, finishing up the lap. This is fast. This is seriously fast. But it's not so fast, it's scary, it's like accessible fast. Oh, this, this is where we could do with a boost. Probably maybe not to 300 kph if we had boost. See, going up hill now here, we're actually losing speed. Right, flat out underneath the Bilstein Bridge. Might get a bit more speed here because of gravity. Right, last couple of corners. Let's attack them. Really go deep on the brakes. Go. Final corner. Get the nose in. On the power. There we go. Drive for the line. Oh, there we go. You can actually see the time up on the steering wheel. That is a 528. Wow. Either I'm getting a lot faster as a driver or. Wow, that's a big difference. 528. That is a massive time. That is uh, F1 levels of speed. Wow. This thing is insanely fast. Let's see where it sits on the, uh, the leaderboard for that. Wow, that's put it in the top six cars that we've ever done here on the channel. Um, it's beaten the Ferrari Vision GT, which was a car that they added a few months ago back in Gran Turismo. And it's gone a fraction slower than the Williams FW19 that we did in Seta Corsa way back when. That was some serious speed and it was so enjoyable. Like some of these cars, when you're going that fast, they're not enjoyable. This, yeah, every time I get in a super formula car, I love it. So, wow. I hope you guys and girls have enjoyed the video as well. If you did, I appreciate a massive thumbs up. And if you didn't, that's perfectly fine. Just give it a thumbs down, but put a comment down below how I can do it better. And wow, until the next car that we take around here, goodbye and have a good day. Thank you.